What's going on guys? Today we are doing something new. We are going to be pretty much redoing the camo for my Focus RS in a different fashion and different color scheme basically. And I'm sure the one question you have is why in the world are you doing even more camo, more visual stuff without doing actual modifications to it and whatnot? And that's just because um, I'm eventually, I'll probably wrap it a full on color, do something like a lot more simplistic or nice in terms of wrapping. But for now, I decided that while I have the camo on, I might as well mess around with as many colors as I can before I completely take it off because this is definitely going to be like a one time thing and since you all love the last camo, I went in Forza and I pretty much rendered out different variants of my camo to try and decide what was the best color and I found something that I just couldn't resist so I went out, ordered the vinyl and we're going to be completely redoing the Focus RS in this new color that you guys will see here shortly in the next uh, coming moments or so. Today we are going to be wrapping it. I'm having a couple buddies come over it's gonna be pretty much just like last time in the summer if you guys remember But we're all doing it again and hopefully the final product is gonna be even cooler than what we had before But with that first things first is we gotta get since as you guys can see it is it, You can't really see but it is raining outside this time last time we did it It was nice and warm in the summer, but this time since it's raining We're probably gonna have to do this as a indoor garage project So we're gonna have to get this beauty out of the way and uh, move that out for now. I know it, it's it's kind of dusty right now. We haven't really been doing much, and yet we're still doing more stuff to the Focus than this. But don't you worry. I haven't forgotten about this car. This will be getting stuff done eventually. And I'm definitely not doing any like visual or wrapping anything in terms of this car. Uh, this car, once I can start modifying it, I'm gonna straight up actually be doing some more internal stuff and whatnot. So hopefully you guys can look forward to that. But now we gotta get her out of the way. I miss this thing so much. This is like all my heart is all devoted into this car. So being able to start it up or take it out for a drive whenever I'm fortunate to be able to is uh, always exciting for me. Look who we got here. You guys know, it's your boy Tim. Blue M3. We got him here. We got that in there. Can you guess what happened here? What's that? It, it was broke? dead. The battery was, it was dead. dead. It was dead. So yeah, dude, that's not the first time it, that We actually we had to push it out of the way, and I snuck through right here. And then yeah, that that was cut from the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody needs to know about that. Exactly. All right. So, voila. <laughs> Ooh, yes. So these yes. two will go on. Just taking out the purple. Just taking out the purple. My dog can hear. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I know. This is like the perfect combo to go with white and gray and black. Yeah. So we got another camo friend. Oh my god. Do you want to see the colors that we're working with? Yeah, let's see it. All right, it's back here. No camo. I'm gonna miss the purple, man. Voila. No way. Yes. Yeah. Oh my. God. <laughs> Are you serious? Nah, no, dude. Dude, it's gonna look so sick. So, purple's off, these two will go on, add so on different camera It's gonna be four tone then, right? Because we got white, we got the... Yeah, Cardo. yeah, yeah, yeah. Including the white, it'll be four tone. Okay, so, what we're gonna attempt now is, I'm gonna try and take off one of the pieces. So you gotta be like careful doing it, but this is paint, so you're easily just gonna rip it off, that's it. Okay, where should I? Mm -hmm. okay. Try a little corner piece. Yeah. And you, had a, you haven't had it too long on, so it's like, it shouldn't leave marks or anything. I hope not, yeah. You know what is easier though? If it's, because it's kind of cold, what is it, like 40 degrees right now? Mm -hmm. cool. yeah, yeah, so if it's like, up, right? so like, if you heat it up, it might be a little better maybe, Yeah, because the adhesive will be. Yeah, I'm gonna get on your other side. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, the hardest thing is not nicking up the paint with your nail. How much did you spend on buying wrap with heat? Probably like 200 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, better, so, it's better than like, paint for <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So like some guy wanted me to wrap his roof or like his uh, Subaru oh. and he was all like yo I'll come by in like two weeks I'm gonna do it for sure and I buy the wrap for him and then I was like dude he's not gonna come and I just like I was like why not just use the black oh, okay, and like Ooh. Ooh, oh it's, it's so magic it's so magical <laughs> it's like look dude, at that's that perfect you could almost just see like a faint kind of yeah, outline. you can't really even notice anything. Really? Especially since the car is I, mean, I, like, I feel like after each piece, um, we should get a microfiber and then wipe over where it was. Oh, yeah. Because, like, the outlines is always going to be, like, dirt on the edges of, like, because it's, like, a little lift, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, this is just... Yeah, our, the whole tracing up. idea may not work. <laughs> we have to just re-design re, uh, all these stuff out. Okay, just like... Have One smart thing you did last time that I used from you was like the expo marker. What, Jack? Remember you used the expo yeah, markers and yeah. just like cut I'll it out? Yeah, get all that stuff out once we're back onto the design. I used a Sharpie by accident. I thought it was like, I don't know why. And like, it's just stained the whole thing. I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> so there's did. probably like a black wrap on my car that has like a Sharpie on there, but <laughs> no one can notice. I'm kind of happy I didn't cut my nails. Like, it's... I just cut my nails. I just cut my nails. Are you serious? Really oh, God. Well, this answers everyone's... I'm just gonna... There we go. But this answers everyone's questions in the sense that I mean, obviously it caused damage if you left this on for a couple of years and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. But um, wrap, it's safe. That's why people do it. And honestly, one of those rock chips, if it hits the wrap, you're just straight chilling. Honestly, like you won't have no rock chips or anything. That'd be amazing. My whole car, because it's like it's better than a clear bra, because it yeah. changes the color of the car to exactly what you want it to be. It's and like it's like next to your original paint. It is, I mean, wrap is literally a clear bra, like, literally, that's what it is. Except it's not clear, that's like, <laughs> that's like, that's the only thing. You just said it's literally what it is, but it's not. <laughs> that's true. Oh, yeah. So, I'm which- I'm not gonna took it off. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, okay. Then we're going in reverse now, we're like back to cow mode, as if you remember the other one, so. Oh, this is gonna be fun. You could literally use the old video and just do like a reverse time lapse. I really could, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, first pieces are going on. We're starting out with the black because the black is gonna go underneath everything. So we're starting out with the darker one so that, that could be a good background layer. Oh my god, dude. If we once it's like fully black and gray, it will literally be a cow. <laughs> no, on, on it's literally that, it's all, yeah all the black yeah color. it's <laughs> I should just show up to the toy run as a cow <laughs> as a full cow. I just think that's his move. <laughs> <laughs> Got milk. <laughs> Ultra mood kid. And now we are moving on to the first colored piece. Whoa! I still don't know in this vlog if I'm showing the colors or not. Yeah, I just about to ask, are you gonna do black and white or not? Yeah, I still don't know. Like, dude, you already said one of the colors in one of your previous clips. Yeah, no, I know, but then I'm like, I could always edit that out. Yeah, yeah true. But anyway, we're working on another layer. See how this goes. It actually looks so good once it's on oh the Oh my board. god, yeah, no, once I erase all the little markings and stuff that we trace this out on. I should erase right now. Holy cow. Want. Oh yeah, even, you could just erase it as yeah. you're squeaking it. Oh my god, this is gonna uh, be, this is gonna be some yes. next level camo, yes. boys. Holy cow. I'm so happy that I get to do this too. <laughs> <laughs> my boy will he. Dude, the fire department's here. The car is turning out too lit, bruh. Alright. We're making stellar progress here. Getting things done, alright? What? <laughs> so it's getting it's getting colder out here as you can tell. Are you awesome? So we're getting desperate. We're using the heat gun to heat some of our feet. Man, put it like in the inside. <laughs> This is amazing. Watch it burn though, like if it burns, bro. Oh, I just saw it sparkle into my skin. <laughs> Innovation that excites. <laughs> oh. Heat gunning your face? That's not <laughs> smart. That's just not a smart idea, bro. No, the problem is all the bad smell cool. that came from my shoe just it just shot up. Oh, so dude. So I can smell my shoe from like. So you say your feet stink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't good. My shoe smells horrible. 8.01 p.m. Yeah. It's getting darker, right. making more progress. In a way to pretty much keep the beautiful upside down okay sign, or aka the got him meme, we're gonna pretty much cover it up with a green piece, that way it actually still is there, so we're not taking it off, but it's gonna be way more subtle this time, so. You'll subtle, this time you'll get got, but it'll be in a subtle manner, only if you notice it. <laughs> Alright, right here. Wait, it's really hard to notice. That kind of, that crease right there, that's kind of the old. Yeah. It's really hard to notice it, but it's still there. Alright, here we go. I can smell it a little bit. Or is that just the. That's what. Dude, see, that's the car's burning. <laughs> You're setting it on fire. Alright, right there. That's what happens when it's super cold. I've been meanwhile trying to get the front done. I've been trying to work on this piece, trying to wrap it over, trying to get my own little pieces done, but pretty much it's all just a team effort trying to... Wahid is the main placer. He knows how to place all the wrap correctly. Some of the really hard pieces we need him for. I usually help come up with designs as well as Tim does. I usually do most of the cutting work because I'm really smooth with my scissor movements, but 
<laughs> yeah, making making slow progress. The Ultramotive Camo RS V2 is in full swing right now, and I can't wait. Is this is I'm telling you, this is gonna look way better than the previous camo. All right, what's up? You guys join us back in my kind of journey of doing the V2 version of my Focus RS. Now, one of the additional upgrades is I'm finally getting my windows tinted, and I'm here at the one and only Vital Energy Motorsport, and this guy pretty much does only like exotics and really high luxury vehicles here, so he's bringing in one of his cars that he's doing, which is the SLS AMG. If you could fit that thing right through there. They're pretty much a shop of all kinds, but yeah, they work on some of the highest quality stuff. So they got some insane stuff in here. Definitely check out their social media and everything on Instagram to see some of the craziest builds. He's about to bring something else around the corner. Let's see if you guys can guess what it is just from the headlights. Oh, what's he coming around this time? Can you get, oh, you guys already know what that is. This one's a loud boy. That is pretty wicked. Of course these days, it's 2018, you have to have your bumper gone from the back of a Huracan. But I love the white on white. Got an R8 coming around the corner, some modified wheels. Sneak out of the way. Oh, looks like we got a satin white. Satin white's nice. All the corners and everything's wrapped like perfectly on this car. You couldn't tell that this is actually just not like some high quality paint with it. If you remember the 1488 that was supposedly Justin Bieber's or whatnot from SEMA, then uh, that's a bad wrap job. And these are honestly fully high quality. We got M6 coming in here with some sort of wide body kit it seems like. This is pretty sick. Damn! There you go! It's so much better dude. Oh my gosh. Woo. There we go. Yeah, I could I could stand out but also ride in low key. So, thanks to the guys at Vital. Oh my gosh. I've been doing just simple little DIY camos in the past, but I might go all out this summer or later on and do a full wrap or do something pretty wicked and these guys might have to be the guys I'll do it. So go check them out because you never know what we could be stirring up for the RS or whatever and let me know if you think we should maybe, I don't know, build something crazy together later on. My guy that is doing my headlights, this is where I got the inspiration because he's already got his on his ST. They're, they're so dark you can't even see anything in here. He's got other stuff in the works. Oh, yeah. It's got maybe a future, some kit of some sort. I, I won't say, I, I won't say immediately. I keep it low key. But you guys should go follow his Instagram right there and check out what he's got coming. Headlamp fault service required. Um, I think that's an issue. Yeah. I gotta say. Yeah, I don't. I, last time I checked, I don't. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong. Yeah, yeah. those are <laughs> those are our daily shenanigans for today. <laughs> Get that blow off valve like that. If I should make make it whooshing sounds like that. <laughs> Twenty minutes later. The headlights are now what you call Tinto mode. Tinto mode. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> yes.
Camo Trooper RS V2 Winter Edition, all specced out for the season. We got the brand new wrap provided by Vivid Vinyl here. And what we've done is we've clearly replaced the purple, all the purple layers, with green and a matte black. So in my opinion, that's like the perfect way to finish off the camo with a brand new color combo. We got the lights smoked out by my guy Schwan. We got the windows tinted by Vital Energy Motorsport. And then we got the cinematic video by Brandon NG over there. He's gonna have some awesome cinematic stuff coming to his channel, so go check that out. But yeah, we're still running the uh, winter set right here with the Blizzax and the 1552s. If you guys remember that from last year, this is just my temporary winter set on wheels and stuff like that. But yeah, maybe we could take it out in the snow and uh, poon some of that around. The thing is that this is literally all DIY camo that I did a good amount as well as my friends helped a whole bunch with it. And if you guys want your car to look like this, whether it's cool or not, you can still literally go all out and do this because believe it or not to wrap your car the main cost of wrapping it is literally the labor and hiring some to, someone to do it in fact the vinyl isn't even the most expensive part so in order to pretty much make something like this all you got to do is just order the vinyl and you can pretty much have that done so with that you guys can this is from vivid which they hooked me up and I actually have a code ultramotive 15 and you guys can save money and literally save on some vinyl and all you got to do is just order that and then you guys could just just wrapping you'll you know you just learn the tactics down pretty quickly and you can literally just kind of either do different camo genres or whatever and create like we can make this a thing a DIY camo trend if you want to do it to your own car so obviously it's up to you guys but hey it seems to be working out pretty fair for it to be a whole DIY job but yeah this is literally just the v2 version of camo you guys want the camo to stay so it's probably gonna stay in this new color and everything probably until late spring or so and then maybe I'll go with an entire full wrap that I probably won't be able to do that myself but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. And this will be Jack Ultramotive signing off in this magical Christmas place.